Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're spending some time on my living room floor with a pile of clothing that I'm going to show you. So this is all the clothing that I've done prior to this channel. So everything I've done before I started documenting what I'm doing. So I have plenty of clothes here. Actually more than I thought there would be. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm forgetting something but here are most things that I've made, at least. Everything that I could gather. So, um, we could start... Let's start with skirts. Alright, so I think my, the first skirt that I made was this one. So, it's an Outlander inspired skirt that I actually still wear a lot, especially during winter time. Um, it has a zipper on the left side and then a pocket next to it as well and it has two pockets some of these have just one but this has two pockets and i really like this skirt still i think it's it's quite lovely even though uh it, it it's far from perfect but i do love the fabric and it's just it's just nice to wear Then another skirt that I have is this one. It's just a full circle skirt with pockets on the side and a really pretty fabric. Um, that's just one of my favorites. I have worn this so much. <laughs> like I actually need to make more skirts because I wear these a lot. Then, this is a fairly new one that I made and it's waiting to be washed so it's super wrinkly <laughs> but it's just a nice blue... why are all this blue? Why is everything... why are all the skirts that I make blue? But, um, it's just a circle skirt with uh, a piece of fabric sewn here and ruffled so it has a tie in the back so it stays on like this and it has a pocket in the back seat. So the next skirt is my first attempt at making something from a historical pattern. So it turned out pretty well. It's a walking skirt, so it's flat on the front and then has a lot of ruffles in the back and it has these um, clip closures so there's no zippers or anything. Those are the skirts that I've made. And then I have a few shirts that I could show you. Again, this is blue. Blue isn't even my favorite color. I don't know why everything is blue. <laughs> this one is a basic corset top with like flare trumpet sleeves and it laces in the back. It has a nice lace here. And then I have this shirt um, made from a linen kind of fabric. It has buttons in the sleeves and the top part of this shirt can be tightened with this string here. So um, that works as the closure. Just a very basic uh, historical looking shirt that, that I actually uh, designed for a cosplay thing for a witcher costume but I have worn it outside of that as well. Then I guess we could move on to the dresses. Now this first one is actually more of a pajama than an actual dress. Like I made it so that it's just something I could wear around the house after changing out of my day clothes. It has a high waist and these cute sleeves a lace right under the boobies and then from the back 
it's quite voluminous and it has hook and eye closures in the back and then a, a ribbon you can tie it with and it is full length it is full length and you just feel like royalty when f wearing this during the evenings and yes it is definitely the best pajama I've ever had And the next one is actually the oldest of these dresses. It is this linen dress with this beautiful floral pattern. And I used a historical inspiration for this as well, which you can see in the top piece of it. Like it's, it has this kind of V shape in the front. And then I just put a zipper in it in the back. So that's kind of the modern take on it and it has these cute puff sleeves and it has this cute lace bit that goes um, around the front so it's really cute but it has kind of uh, worn out of the shape that I originally made it so it was a lot tighter around the waist and it's just gotten a bit bigger when I've used it so I guess we'll see how what washing does to it at some point and then I have this other dress that I made out of the same patterns. So the pattern pieces are kind of improved. I just added different sleeves and I ran out of fabric so it is a bit shorter than the one I showed you before. Uh, so it's this one. It has the same um, dip at the front here and it has half sleeves that have lace around the edges. It also has some lace here because I thought it added the few crucial centimeters to the length that it was comfortable enough to wear. But it is a pretty fabric and I have worn it quite a few times. Then it's my latest dress that I've actually fixed already three times because the uh, like skirt bit of it looked really wonky for some reason. It is uh, this dress. Can also be seen on my Instagram if you want to follow me there. I have the link in description. And it is the most gorgeous fabric. It has a lace up back with these cute pink ribbons and it does have more gathers uh, at the back than it does at the front. Uh, it is made with the same pattern as the blue corset top that I had. This is just an improved version so it does fit better and I do love the sleeves. Then there is my beautiful apron that I made. I wanted an apron that didn't have the top bit and was just from waist down. So I tried embroidery for the first time and I did this bit here and then just added the other part and it's so stinking cute I do love baking and cooking in it and I think the embroidery turned out pretty nicely like I don't have many complaints about it I think the colors are nice and overall it's just it looks pretty cute and then I could show you what I've knit. So I have these arm warmers that are super comfy, especially during the autumn time. These are very much Outlander inspired as well. And with these I tried for the first time doing a braid thing while knitting and they turned out pretty great. These are cute, have used them and will use them definitely this autumn again. A few years ago I started ballet. It has been my dream to do ballet um, forever as long as I can remember and I always as a kid thought that I was too old to start that hobby but two years ago I signed up for an adults class and it was really fun it was something that I liked doing and I will be continuing this autumn if the plague situation has calmed a bit so we didn't have any practices the entire spring but anyways, uh, for that I made leg warmers so that I could wear with like point shoes or just flat um, 
or like the basic flat shoes and they go a thigh high and they were quite a process to make took a while and they were really good and what happened when they were ready you might ask this one for instance he made a hole in them so yeah but he he was just a puppy so you know but I haven't really worn them since they have this hole here it's not massive but I'm afraid it will get massive if I wear them so I guess I could see if I could fix them it's just in the one so we'll see I guess and then I have knit a few pairs of socks these are one just white with a short yata. and then I have knit a few socks these are short white ones and then I have made these stripy ones just socks and then I've made this Hufflepuff scarf as I am a Hufflepuff and couldn't find a scarf anywhere here in Finland for myself so I just made one and I have used it quite a bit The next scarf that I've made is from Outlander. It's Brianna's scarf from I think season two. It was a fun process to make. I learned a new, I learned an entirely new sewing pattern from that and it was a blast to make. And it's just so pretty and I do love the color as well. And I have used this a lot during winters and autumns and even springs because Finland is a cold place to live. So, scarves are a must here then the latest thing that I've knit is also from Outlander weirdly enough I bought the Outlander knitting book and knit a shawl from that so this is that it is made from really thick 100% wool so it's super warm like I wore this during the winter in the coldest times and it warmed so much oh. and whilst knitting this shawl I got to learn new knitting techniques so it was a fun learning process and I think the colors and everything about this turned out a lot better than expected like it's super nicely made and I'm proud of myself for this one at the moment I am making another Outlander shawl from the Outlander knitting book um, it's not exactly screen accurate but it's super cute and it's, it's this lace thing that has this lovely pattern and it will be a triangular or a half circle uh, pattern or something when it's finished and yeah it's it's still it has a long way to go still and it's kind of slow to make but it looks cool so that's in the works and then I could show you some cosplays I've made it's from Outlander. Now this project was so far from perfect that it's almost embarrassing to show but uh, it did capture the overall look of it I guess but <clears throat> the top was just a hot mess. Um, the sleeves were alright but the rest is just it's so bad. <laughs> But I will insert pictures here so you can see what it looked like in the pictures. We did a little photo shoot of it. So there's that. I made actually a few pieces for that. I made an undershift, an under skirt, a skirt, a top, and then the 
but exaggerator. <laughs> then I have here this very wrinkly um, Rapunzel cosplay that I did for one Halloween. Um, I had fun painting this, but this is super wrinkly at the moment. Um, and then here is the top. Let me just figure out what on earth is going on here. So I made it to go with the corset, so I it, I was in a time pinch, all right? So I sewed it to the corset. Um, <clears throat> but it did have pretty accurate sleeves, I think, and a nice lace up here. But it's just a bit of a mess at the moment. But it looked alright when it was on. And then I have my Benkare costume. And Benkare is it's a high school kind of a leaving costume party day that all the third year high school students get to have. They dress up as some character or like walking bananas or whatever. They they dress up in a costume and have a fun weird day together. It's a weird Finnish tradition but I made a costume for that myself and again I'll insert pictures here because I'm not sure I actually have all the pieces I need to make it look decent again and I think something broke of it as well. It was it was a nice costume, it was the first one I made and I was super proud of it at the time. I, th I think it still looks cute. So it was Cassandra Clare's Tessa character from, um, from the Infernal Devices series. So that's who I was trying to be. It was inspired by the cover image of the book and then I just kind of imagined the rest. So yeah, there's that. Oh no. Ooh, no, no, no. I think my dog ate the thing on top of the mic. Why? Why? This was a new mic! God damn you. Little beast. Let me just check the situation here. Alright, you didn't eat it. You actually just took it off. Yeah, you didn't actually eat the thing. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, shit. So the last thing I have is a jacket. Now this was the most difficult thing that I've ever sewn. It, it, I, I'd never done anything like this and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it, but I just thought I might as well try. <laughs> and try I did. Um, it has a few very obvious flaws, but I did wear it quite a lot during the winter and uh, it got a lot of compliments as well, so I think people liked it. So the inspiration for the coat was that I wanted a fantasy cloak, but I'm not brave enough to wear a fantasy cloak out and about. Um, this is what I came up with. I designed it myself, so it has sleeves, it's made of wool, and it has these nice closures, it has a lovely hood, lovely big hood and I designed it so that it will go nicely with dresses and skirts so it has a waist at the waist so it flows out nicely with skirts and dresses and I like it I like it a lot and like I said people also seem to like it because I did get quite a few comments about it and yeah I guess that's everything that's all the clothes that I've made prior to this channel and me starting to document everything that I'm making. So, uh, I hope you like this video of me sharing everything that I've done. 
um, before starting my channel and I think this will be the end of today's video oh, hello You good? You good? Yeah. So I think this will be the end of today's video and I hope you enjoyed everything. If you feel like sticking around, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at sana333 and I will see you in my next video. Bye! My dog had a sticky note stuck in his butt hair.